pujara of karma. This is the most complex topic. I try my best to simplify it, uh, but I'm not able to do as like simplified satisfaction I get it, okay? But let us see what we can really do best. Make sure the words punya, pap, and nijra, we use it all the time. But do we really know what it means? And how can we acquire punya karma? How can we not acquire pap karma? And what do we have to do? We don't get any karma, nirjara. Just uh, our state is no matter what we do, we are not going to acquire the karma. That is the nirjara, like Bhagwan Mavir. Once you have a kevali state of mind, and you got to keep in mind, everything is in mind, Jainism, okay? It is not what you do. As, as long as your mind is still, you are not going to acquire any karma. Now, to make your mind still, it is kind of impossible job. Okay, it looks, oh, it's my mind, I can make it still. So there is no thoughts. Okay, once you have no thought, then and then it's a true nirjara. Then you do whatever you want to do. You are not going to get acquire any karma. That's the kevalgnani state. The mind is completely still. And once these are the wording, mind is still. That means there is no mind. If mind exists, then thought process exists. Okay, and the thought occurs then either you are in the past or you are in future, but you are not living in the present. And to acquire this present state of mind means you are fully aware of the present moment, what you are living. This is the most important and ultimate, ultimate goal of Jainism. Can you live in the present, which is a, there is a no thought state. Present state is no thought, or we always say, Bhagwan Mahavir Kevalsgnani state is Amani Dasha. Amani means there is a physical mind is always there, structure and all that one, okay, is a human being. The physical mind, but the bhav, reflection in the mind is not there. Okay, so that's the, when you when you look at the word, you have to really find in which reference to contest you have to use. Amani dasha, sometimes a person with a you no know, mad person or you no know, kind of a person who is drunk completely, he possesses Omani Dasha also because he doesn't know what he's doing, okay? And we can say, that's the kind of the things no, we do, but that is not the thing. With full awareness, Omani Dasha, with complete awareness, of every moment, what is happening on every moment. So in that reference, it is very difficult uh, for the person who has uh, not any kind of a little bit more knowledge of Jainism. Then, then and then you can really understand the Punya Park and the Nirjara topic. And I'm trying my best with this hour and a half and see 
what we can accomplish. All right. Uh, and again, you can stop me anytime. Why I am saying it? Because this is very complex subject. And if you don't follow it, then it will be difficult as I further go deeper and deeper into it. Now, here is the later.